HIV transmission through small cut. Hi everyone, and welcome to this video about HIV transmission through small cuts. HIV, or the human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that attacks and weakens the immune system. It is primarily transmitted through certain body fluids, including blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and breast milk. In this video, we'll be discussing whether it is possible for HIV to be transmitted through small cuts or wounds on the skin. First of all, it's important to understand that HIV is not transmitted through everyday contact, such as shaking hands, hugging, or sharing food or drinks. In order for HIV transmission to occur, there must be a direct exchange of body fluids between two people. A small cut or wound on the skin is not enough to allow for the transmission of HIV. Now, there are a few scenarios in which HIV transmission through a small cut or wound might be possible. For example, if a person with HIV were to bleed heavily and the blood were to come into contact with an open wound or cut on another person, there is a possibility that HIV could be transmitted. However, this scenario is very unlikely and would require a significant amount of blood to come into contact with the wound or cut. Another scenario in which HIV transmission through a small cut or wound might be possible is if a person with HIV were to engage in certain high-risk behaviors, such as sharing needles or engaging in unprotected sex. In these cases, HIV transmission could occur through small cuts or wounds that are present on the skin or mucous membranes. It's important to note that HIV transmission can be prevented through the use of condoms and other safe sex practices, as well as through the use of clean needles and other injection equipment. It is also important for people with HIV to take antiretroviral medications as prescribed to reduce the amount of virus in their body and lower the risk of transmission to others. In conclusion, while it is theoretically possible for HIV to be transmitted through a small cut or wound, it is very unlikely. HIV is primarily transmitted through certain body fluids, and a small cut or wound on the skin is not enough to allow for the transmission of the virus. To reduce the risk of HIV transmission, it is important to practice safe sex, use clean needles and injection equipment, and take antiretroviral medications as prescribed. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about HIV transmission, please leave a comment below.